Hi, we're So Awkward, I'm Brooke. And I'm Rachel. This March special is a sewing machine cover that doubles as a sewing machine mat and it will keep your workspace scuff free. And the cover will make your sewing machine dust free. Yep. And we're making it out of jelly rolls. What's a jelly roll, Rachel? A jelly roll is one of these. It's a roll of fabric that is two and a half inches wide and usually as long as a width of fabric, so 45 inches, and they color coordinate usually. And they're just really fun to work with. They're really fun to buy and hard to decide on what to get. Yeah, there's so many different ones out there. Yes. So this will be fun. It'll be a quilted machine cover. We look forward to it. So let's get sewing. We haven't started sewing yet and she almost swore she started a word. No, I did say the word. You did say the word. And then I went to shoot. Okay, and you're putting how much in? Just a quarter. Oh, okay. I should really only be putting like a dime because it doesn't okay. count. We're not even sewing yet. Right, but what's the... We open the jelly roll and you get colorful rainbow confetti. Yay! Don't breathe that in. We have our colors picked. Yay! <laughs> from our jelly rolls, and I had to supplement a, a piece of stash fabric, yay, yeah. to coordinate with what I've got going on. Yeah. And Brooke has hers. She's doing, guess what, guys? Batiks! Da, 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 da. In case you didn't know. This is my layout. So this is going to be fun putting them all together. Now we just have to get our numbers right. Math. I just swore. And then I swore because I swore. <laughs> So I'm putting two in the bucket. Monotonous. Do, 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 do. Monotonous. Do, 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 do. Monotonous. Do, 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 This is so monotonous, just so in these strips. Da, 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 da. Monotonous. Da, 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 da. What's great about using your jelly roll pieces is that you can do a little chain sewing. So you can do your twos and twos and twos, and then your twos become fours and fours and fours, and then eventually your fours become the eights, and then you put both of them to pieces together. So, should we try it? It's just the project that sews itself. Went off a little bit. A really great tool for this project is a little, calling it a seam roller. It's a piece of wood on the end on a handle and I don't want to go over to the iron between each time so I'm just doing a little bit of roll flattening so that I can then put these two pieces together just to save some time and some ironing. Cool. And it's also good for your face. <laughs> You're infringing uh, on my space. Sorry. Um, That's why we have a gap. Well, apparently, that's that's apparently when I cut the twelve inches off of the end of all of my strips, they weren't all the same length. Oh no! So my Let's shortest get... strip is thirty-one inches instead of thirty-four, but that's okay. It'll all work out in the end. Just add more border. I'm gonna have to add more border. Thicker border, more on the other side. It'll work It'll out. It'll work out. Rachel's Rachel's having a deep thought. Because apparently a blue whale washed up onto the no, coast. No, not a blue whale, gray whale. Oh, you said blue whale earlier. I said blue and then I changed to gray. Got it, gray whale. Washed up onto the beach. And we're talking about how much it's going to stink. And then Rachel says... Yeah, but when the whale is alive, like, it stinks. You know, its breath has to smell bad. It's living in the ocean. So this is my challenge to anybody watching is to... If Confirm anybody this. has ever smelled the breath of a whale... How bad is it? Let us know. Well... Have you ever smelled llama breath? No. So I'm testing the drape <laughs> over my machine. I know it looks a little wide, but that's because, you know, you've got um, the knobby thingy. But I also want to make sure that it can snap together on the sides and then it won't be, it won't disrupt the pattern on the front, so. It's that time of the month for our monthly tip. Just the tip. Are you working with jelly rolls and you're getting these little confettis all over your work? Yes. Okay, here's a tip. You use a, a sticky lint roller and you just glide it over your fabric and it picks up all the lint. 
I know that's a little bit basic, but then does your work surface have all the confetti on it like mine? You just, well, you know, it'll just kind of like, you just kind of glide it around and it'll pick it all up. Or you can pretend you're like playing gopher. Wait, wait what is that? Yeah, yeah, whack a mole. Whack a mole. Whack a mole. Also, you can get it off your clothing. Because I'm completely. <laughs> Don't put it in your hair because it'll stick. So, hope you hope that helps. You just said famous last words. What did you say? Well, what did you say? I said I don't want to rush our project, and then you said... We're almost done! Yeah. I have finished putting my front piece together, and I'm layering my three pieces because we're going to be quilting this. And I have the front, and then I have this batting. And it's bigger than the front because it could, you got to account for some shift when you quilt, and your backing should be a little bit bigger as well. And I have one big batik backing piece back there. And now I get to use some safety pins. What? Here's an update on mine. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna end up being. So I'm gonna have to figure this out um, and what can be removed. Anyway, I did a little bit different than Brooke did because I was inspired by a quilt I saw where they split up the sections with um, a white fabric. And so I basically cut my rainbow portion in thirds. Um, and then I put a white piece of white fabric between and sewed it all together. And now it's in a quilt sandwich. It's got my layer of my top layer batting and my background fabric, which is Happy little clouds. Brooke, you're so much further ahead than I am. <laughs> it's okay, because I might be doing, I might do some um, fancy stitches yet. Oh, okay. I haven't decided yet on how invested I want to be, get into it. I need change. Rachel has to make change so she can put it in quarters. <laughs> I need more quarters. You need more quarters. I need more quarters. I still have some. Are well today. I feel like Linus and Lucy. Oh boy, look at all that hard cash. I just love the sound of money. <laughs> we all have our days. It's mine today. Today is Rachel's day. What happened? Uh, so I, I um, was cut. I was doing the the cutting from my machine, and it, it usually just it makes a little knot, and then, but I um thought maybe it was gonna go into the white area, so I just yanked it just a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> We're changing plans. How much are you cutting off? A lot. Wow. 10 inches. Nice. Should I do it? Yeah, do it. Cause we're doing ties now, right? We're doing ties, do it. <laughs> there it goes. Done. Dun 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 What happened? Did your your backing fold over? It folded over and Poor Rachel. It's okay. I feel like I should go out and get you a treat somewhere to make you feel better. <laughs> you want a frosty? Do you want a frosty? Frosty? A frosty? No, I want a cinnamon roll because we keep talking about jelly rolls. Well, maybe we should go get a cinnamon roll. So we've decided to forget about those snaps and we're going to do ties. And then it's still big. It's big, so we're going to slide it over. But there's so much over here, we don't want to lose all this color. So I said, Rachel, what if you do it that way? And I said, is it perfectly matched up over on that side? And she's like, yes. And I said, there's only a little bit of overhang over here instead of... So now, now you can just cut off that and you'll have an extra cool little rainbow strip. I am on the final stages of putting on the binding. This is my backing, which is pretty cool in itself. And the other side will be the finished product. My goodness, that was a weird noise. 
I forgot to change my stitch when I put on my quarter inch foot and it has a tiny hole. I broke my needle. Yep, oh. there it's hanging. Boop, 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 boop. And so I had to, you know, seam rip, you know, as we do here. And it created some holes in the back, like there, there, but I only, yeah, and there. So instead of worrying about it, I'm just gonna use this product called Fray Check. At the end, when I'm done, I'm just gonna just glue it. It's like a fabric glue, so then won't have any problems like that, and nobody's gonna see it because it's on the back, right, Brooke? It'll just be you and me that knows. Just us. Yeah, just us. Our little secret. You have to ask yourself one thing: Do you feel lucky? Because if you do, you can try your luck at the String of Pearls. This month's plant of the month. String of Pearls is a succulent. This one's got some variegation on the little pearls. Pretty cool. The String of Pearls is known to be one of the more difficult houseplants to take care of. It wants to dry out completely between waterings, but it does want to be watered a little bit. So you water a little bit, but not too much, or else the pearls will... will Real, will rot out. And similar to this is also a string of turtles, string of dolphins, string of beans, string of bananas, string of hearts, lots of fun string plants, lots of light, little water, and good luck. <laughs> I have to go outside to snap my to hammer my snaps on and it's really cold outside. <laughs> How cold is it? It's it's purple. <laughs> it's got purple. We're going out to do the snaps on mine now. <laughs> she has to deal with the cold. You should step out a little bit further where the breeze is really strong. my fur daddy. Thanks mom. That's a wrap on our machine covers and machine mats. How are we feeling? I am tired. <laughs> that was a long day. That was a long day. Because we weren't following a pattern mm -mm. and I had to do a lot of cutting and rearranging of my stuff but I am so thrilled with how it turned out. Yeah I think we, we changed our uh how we were going to attach it about halfway through, we decided to change it a bit. So we ended up cutting a huge section off, which we can use for something else. Our backs, right? Oh yeah. So mine, is, mine is happy little clouds. Mine is boutique. Come on, wow. we'll do everything. Yeah. Hey, this looks awesome. It does look awesome. Okay. Good job, Brooke. All right. And now, now our we, machines um, are gonna be dust free. And our desks are gonna be scuff free. Yes. How many, um, how many fat quarters? Would I do this again? I would do, I would if I have a machine that I need to cover, yes. Is it something I'm going to do on a regular basis? No. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching today. Oh yeah, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to us on YouTube so you can find out when our next show is going to be popping up. That's right. And until next time, don't forget to be so awkward. I will now demonstrate how the machine cover becomes a machine mat. I will now demonstrate how a machine mat becomes a machine cover. Ta-da!